I, I wanted to create inventory transactions. So I will start with the goods receipt. For the goods receipt, you go to the inventory menu and select the inventory transactions and goods receipt. Here we just simply need to select the item which we want to receive. In case I will take the test 01 and one quantity and whatever the warehouse we need to select, select the warehouse. So I'll be selecting in uh, one of my warehouse and select the appropriate uh, account code. But for me, it is a by default there is an account code and I will be adding this. While adding, whatever the batch number we need to create, V2020, that is a year, September month, my date is 15 and the document number is 150. So we have selected that, update and then add the document. So now our goods receipt is ready. We can even verify the journal entry through this uh, golden arrow button. And then we can see that uh, it is posted through the my inventory account and stock difference expenses account. The same way we can go for the goods issue as well. We will simply select our product and again I will be selecting to the test 02 and I am issuing one quantity the same and I will be adding this document and I will be selecting the batch number where I wanted to issue from so I have selected auto select ok add and our goods issue has been added so inventory has been removed from the goods issue now we can do another transaction as well inventory transfer request inventory transfer request is non financial document it is there is no general entry has been posted so wh here what we need to do is select the item code or item description I'll be selecting the same product and now from my warehouse 01 to I will be posting to 02 and my quantity will be let's say 10 and then I'll be adding it so while uh, inventory transfer request there is a no batch number required nothing because this is just a dummy document and it has not been posted anywhere it is a, just a request so for the final document I will be copy to inventory transfer inventory transfer you can create independently the same way we have created as an inventory transfer request but in in uh, in the scenario of you wanted to start from the inventory request you can simply copy to inventory transfer and all the documents data will be fetched so we can see that okay test 01 I'm transferring from 01 to 02 and I'm adding it so as you see that the batch number it is asking for I'll be auto selecting it and then update and then okay and add so my inventory transfer has been posted and you can see that the journal entry also must be posted because it is a financial document and it is simply transferring from one location to another location and it is lying with the same journal entry so it is just a contra entry nothing impacted on the uh, financial side but one uh, thing happened that average cost in cage hop average cost it will get changed to the batch label Thank you.